Deputy Leader of the Opposition. <coughs> Uh, thank you, Mr Acting Deputy Speaker. Uh, I move that this House uh, one notes a the decisive victory in India's recent national election uh, of the Bharatiya Janata Party led by Sri Narendra Modi, b India's achievement in building secular democratic government since independence in 1947, c the continuing improvements in living standards of the Indian people over recent decades, and d India's growing role in international affairs. And secondly, calls on the Australian government to move promptly to build a strong relationship with the new Indian government. Um, Mr Acting Deputy Speaker, the victory in this month's Indian general election of the BJP, led by Narendra Modi, presents a great opportunity for India, for Australia and for Australian-Indian relations. It was a remarkable victory. Remarkable for Mr Modi himself. As a child and teenager, he sold tea with his father at a railway station in the western Indian city of Badnagar. Now he's the leader of the world's largest democracy. Also, the size of Mr Modi's victory was remarkable. His is the first government to have an outright majority in the Indian lower house since the election of 1984. His victory brings a big, a big change in the complexion of Indian politics. There's been a shift away from the Indian National Congress, which of course has dominated Indian politics for almost all of the years since independence in 1947. Mr Modi has a great opportunity, but as the leader of a country of 1.3 billion people, he also faces huge and daunting challenges. Growth in the Indian economy improved after the reforms that began in the early 1990s, but in recent years economic growth has slowed. India's GDP per person is a tenth that of the United States and half of that of China. Mr Modi will be working to narrow that gap, and uh, I hope that he'll be able to promote growth in ways that benefit all Indians. Mr Modi's victory brings opportunities for Australia. India and Australia share values of democracy and the rule of law. We are both pluralistic, multicultural, multi-ethnic societies. Uh, democracy in India comes with a very vibrant and open uh, media culture. We have strong historical links and a common language. Ties between the people of Australia and India have been growing rapidly. There are 450,000 Indian migrants in Australia, our fourth largest migrant community, making a wonderful contribution to Australian life. India is our largest source of permanent and skilled migrants. Tourism has been increasing. Last year there are 169,000 visitors uh, from India to Australia. Diplomatic and strategic links with India strengthened greatly during our time in government. A joint declaration on security cooperation was agreed to by Prime Minister Rudd in 2009, and both Prime Minister Rudd and Prime Minister Gillard made very successful visits to India. Our ties with India are strong, and they can grow and deepen further. The India Country Strategy, that was part of Labor's Asia, uh, Asia in the, um, Australia in the Asian Century White Paper, said that out of uh, all of our major relationships, um, the one with India was the one with greatest potential to continue to grow. The strategy sets out ways that India can help Australia become more productive and resilient through greater trade and investment. It says closer people-to-people -people links, continuing migration and increasing travel will benefit both countries. India has a long tradition of support for multilateral cooperation and the White Paper says that we should continue to work together to strengthen such dialogue. I continue uh, to urge the government to take up the uh, opportunities identified in the White Paper to deepen our relationship with India, to make it a priority to build strong relations with India's new government. Um, it is uh, economically, culturally, socially a country um, that we have uh, many existing links with, but the potential to deepen and strengthen and broaden those links um, in part because of the uh, very significant um, presence of uh, an uh, Indian uh, diaspora here in Australia, um, but also because of the firm footing uh, that the um, previous prime ministerial visits have placed the relationship is an opportunity that Australia should not miss.